Hello everyone, so today I'm on Bruni Island and I'm going to be hiking to Mavista Falls which is a place I've been before um, I actually tried to make a video, that was when I just had my phone it was about a year ago and uh, the phone just kept playing up and dying so I didn't get a video so now I'm back today with the main purpose of getting the video footage of a pretty cool spot Surprisingly, the water level is fairly similar to last year. Last year I was surprised at how dry it was, but this year it actually has been quite dry. But it's still flowing, okay. So this walk travels along this really nice path for a little while, and then it's gonna basically end, but an old track keeps going up to the waterfall and from what I recall, it was only like a 30-40 minute walk each way. So it wasn't that long of a thing. But it got quite rough towards the end. So we'll see how we go. Well, I've come to what is pretty much meant to be the end of the track. So there's sort of something written, no track. And there's a kind of a blockage kind of thing. I guess it meant to stop further progress. Obviously that's not going to happen, I'm going to keep going. But I think there's another kind of thing to stop you going further in a second. Although I mean the track's still fine at this point, but it deteriorates quickly fairly soon. Which I'm sure we'll see. So this is the proper end of the track. So you can see it's a nice track there and then it pretty much becomes rooty kind of crap not really made properly I mean obviously it's still easy to follow for now there's definitely been a lot more people through since I was here last year only a few minutes further on and I've now hit the first of quite a few stream crossings I mean obviously today it's very easy to get across but in higher flows it could be a bit tricky The track's still easy to follow, but it's you know, a lot narrow and a bit more overgrown. Okay, so here's where it starts getting a little more tricky. This is clearly a freshly fallen tree. That's pretty much obliterated a section of track. Definitely wasn't like this last time. If you're ever lost, just stick with the, uh, the creek and you'll be fine. So I'm at a point now where the track looks like it goes up that way. Now I wouldn't do that because it just heads up a long way up and then you're pretty much stuck up there in a whole bunch of scrub and crap. So if I were you, the creek crossing here, I'd just stick to the creek. Because it'll meet up with the track later anyway. And that's a real pain to get through that stuff. And another quick one here. So I've heard people in the uh, Waterfall Vitassi Facebook group talk about a log jam they came to. And I reckon this is probably what they're talking about. But uh, when you come to it, because I'm past it now, just head off to that way. And the track actually goes around it. It's a bit hard to spot and a bit overgrown. But it gets you around the log jam, no problems. I'm not too far off the falls now, I don't think. Okay, so I've been going for about half an hour. And I've come to a spot I remember from last time. Now, this is essentially kind of a little cascade in there. That you've got to kind of climb up on the side. I actually remember it being a bit worse than this, but uh, yeah. It's a bit of a gorge type thing, which is pretty cool. Once you get to the top of it, it's only a couple of minutes to the waterfall as well. But, I mean, my concern with it last time is that when there's a lot of water, that whole cliff there, or the whole slanting drop, could have water coming over it, and that could be quite dodgy. So, it's only a couple of minutes since I was last filming, 
and I've made it to Mavista Falls. There's uh, not a lot of water flowing, but it's that what I expected really. Similar to last year. You can see though, like when that gets a good flow up, that can be quite impressive when it flows over that whole cliff face. Although again, it could be dodgy getting here, so you know. Well, I'm nearing the end of the walk now. It's really nice walk. It's not like a waterfall that's gonna blow you away. Uh, it's only probably a seven or eight meter drop, but it's nice enough and it would be especially nice if there was more water flowing. And I mean, it's the only waterfall on Bruni Island. So if you're on Bruni and you're keen to see a waterfall, this is the spot to come. Anyway, that's just about gonna be it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.